Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I am here with my bookshelf tour. This is what you've all been requesting for so long. I did one a long time ago, but it wasn't that great quality of a bookshelf tour. I think I did it like two years ago, maybe. I have one, two, three, four, five, six shelves downstairs. So when I moved into my apartment in 2015, I started with four. I got them from Walmart. I'll go ahead and link them down below. When I bought them, they were $50 each on rollback, and now this year they have gone up to $100. So I probably won't be buying any more, but I bought four in 2015. In 2016, I bought another one that I put on this wall. 2017, I bought one I put on that wall. So I can't buy any more because they're $100, but I love them because they're in the cube shape. So I knew I'd have a lot of books, and I had a problem with my old ones that they warped because there was so much weight on them. These don't do that at all. They're my favorite, and they're white, and I love them. I am going to be doing the format that Chelsea from Chelsea Dolly Reads did. I'm going to show you each section and pull out a couple that I think are worth mentioning or my favorites or something like that. So I'll talk about the section, but I'm not going to pull each book out and name the author and title. You can just pause it and look at the spot. That's really excessive and I know I get bored seeing bookshelf tours like that so you can just see all my books and I will mention my favorites. So we'll go ahead and get to it. I just want to show you a quick overview of my shelves. That's my tripod setup for when I'm starting. These are the shelves on the main wall of my apartment. I have one, two, three, four, five on this wall and I have books all up there which I will show you closer. To the left are all romances. Right here are more of my favorites and then to the right are YA. And then... If we go over here with my TV, I have this section over here of other books that are like Outlander and my classics and Harry Potter and all that jazz. So we'll take a closer look. All right, we are starting at the far left of the top right here are all paranormal romances and mass markets. I just talked about this one right here, White Hot by Alona Andrews. I just hauled in my last book haul. A lot of I got a lot of comments saying that it was really good, so I'm excited to read this series. I also have the Bourbon King series by J.R. Ward. I really love this series, and I have all three up here. They are super dramatic. Read like a soap opera. And then I have my Twilight collection from the original when I read them all, and then a bunch of mass markets over there as well, and then kind of in the corner over here are some Ginger Scott books that I love. This is more of a miscellaneous area. These just got added up here when I ran out of room down there, so next section. All right, for this next section, I do have my mug that has I do have my mug that has my My Bookmark collection. I love these bookmarks so much. I'll link them down below. The mug I think my sister got me from Mod Cloth, so that's that was a long time ago. I do have my Kennedy Fox collection. I got all these books from them for free. They I was a blogger for them and they, I don't think they send them out anymore, but I have all those. These are my absolute favorites, Molly Harper's Paranormal Romance. I read those a while ago. I have two different candles up here that I got with some Kennedy Fox books. Woo! As I knock them down. Here is some of my favorites. These are L. Kennedy's Mass Market Paperbacks. And this series is super good. It's her post-apocalyptic romance series. They're very romance heavy. They're amazing. And then her, her romantic suspense series right here, which I absolutely love. And then I got this J from Michaels. And it was super on sale when I bought it. So that's there. Over here, these are two of my favorites, Lorelai James books. This is the series. I don't own book one. These are two and three, and I have four. Upstairs are some books on my TBR, so if you see some books missing, it's because they're upstairs. And then I have this cute bear just sitting there. All right, so this section is my new favorite section. It is all of my J.R. Ward books. I do am missing one that I just read, so book two is supposed to go in here. And then I do not have... The Shadow, I think, in Mass Market Paperbacks is the only one I'm missing other than the new ones in Hardback. And here are just some romances. I do have one only by Jenny Holiday, which I really loved. It's book one of the Bridesmaids Behaving Badly series. I stuck that up here. Of course, I do have a dog sign. Um, I really love these two books. They're part of Katie Locke series, and they're like goblins and stuff which is really cool more of more just contemporary mass markets and then I do have a wand this is Hermione's wand I got while I went to Disney two years ago and I love it so it's up on my bookshelves 
For this section, I do have my Meg Cava books, my Mediator series. We're going to my YA shelves now. These last two over here are my YA bookshelves, so I do have all my Simon Paul's romantic comedies, which really got me into reading romance. My book outlet bear I got when they were having a deal where I think you got it free when you ordered an amount of books. And then all of my favorite little romances from like Harper Teen. A lot of them are from Harper Teen. Um, and they were my favorite. Some of them are Avon. I will go more towards that section and show you some of my absolute favorites of these that I read when I was younger in like middle school, high school area. So these, this section is really more all of my favorites. So I do have a sign there that says, if you want to see, it does say, love never fails. Thought it was cute. The Boyfriend League by Rachel Hawthorne was like one of my absolute favorite books ever. I read it like four billion times when I was younger. And I also loved Summer in the City by Elizabeth Chandler. This is a basketball romance. The other one was a baseball romance. I do have my beloved Katie McGarry series. I have all these signed. They are her YA motorcycle romances. I have two of my Morgan Madsen books, some of my John Green, Jennifer Niven, and then my Plain Jane, my Lady Jane. I do have a Beauty and the Beast snow globe over there and then some coloring books I have gotten. And that completes the very top of the shelves. Now we're going to go down and look at each section individually. This is my first YA section, so I have a lot of my hardbacks. This is my whole Katie McGarry collection. I do have my new copy of When the Moment Rishi by Sandeya Manan. I have not read this yet, but I recently reorganized these, so this got stuck up there. I do have my Finn Pop Funko from Star Wars, and then my Emery Lord collection. I guess this one is not really common because it is the only copy. It's I got the art copy, and it is paperback. And so she was surprised when I showed this to her because the paperback has a different cover than the hardback, and this is the hardback cover on a paperback. This is also a ton of my hardbacks. I do have Alex Approximately, which I need to read really, really soon. Um, that's the only one that I was super excited about on this shelf. I really enjoyed Sophie Kinsella's Finding Audrey. This was Sophie Kinsella's YA. We were moving right on over, so I'm going to be going this way. So this is my second to last shelf. I am going to be young adult, young adult, and then we'll get into adult and then go back through. This, I got all of these Pop Funkos. My mother got them for me. I think I bought one because it was on clearance at Target, and then my mom got three more for my birthday last year, so she surprised me with that. This is my Cassandra Clare collection. I do have books one and two in paperback because I got book three right when it came out, hardback the day it came out. We went to Barnes & Noble and got it and read it at my friend's house. Sophomore year of high school, so that was a long time ago, so I've had these for a long time. I also have my Jennifer Armachock collection. I do have a lot more of her books sprinkled out throughout here, but I try to put most of them together. The Obsidian series is one of my faves, even though I've only read like three of them. I need to read more. And then I have not read these, and I haven't read these. There's a lot I haven't read on my shelves. Alright, we have moved on to a romance section. I also have my beautiful Ed Sheeran Pop Funko above my romance rock star romances, uh, some of them, so he's up there. This is a horse, stuffed horse that came with a fun little package that Lex Martin bought me. She wrote Reckless and Shameless and she sent me Shameless and then she sent me a fun little box with Reckless with that. I do have another book by her. I have all of my Alex Clayton books here. My Katie Evans series, I know I'm missing one, which is slightly annoying. I just can't find it on sale anywhere and I'm waiting to find it on sale. Renee Carlino's books. Then I have my whole Abby Glein series. I have read this one and this one. I think I've only read two of these and I have like a billion of them so I have to read those soon. Some Celia Aaron books which are really good. Um, my Penelope Douglas books, and then three of my random motorcycle romances. Two of them I have to read this month, but I love Penelope's books so much. This was out of the picture, but Bully, and it is a signed copy because I got to meet her at a Polycon, so one of my favorites. Love this book. Right, so this is pretty much my absolute favorite section of my shelves. This has all of my T.M. Fraser books. So she is the one who wrote King and I've only read King and Tyrant and then Lawless. The entire series is like seven or eight books long. I also read the newest one, Up in Smoke. I do have two candles from Bookish Aromas. I'll link her shop down below. 
first one is They Call Me King, and then the other one is Welcome to Lawless MC. They're super gorgeous, and I love having them above my books. I do have Mulan, which I believe Sarah got me last birthday, pretty sure, or for Christmas. She got me that one. Then I got Hermione from the Yule Ball, and then I have my Punk 57 candle for my shop. I used to sell candles. I don't really anymore. I have my absolute favorite Penelope Douglas book, so I have the Corrupt series. I did not even notice Corrupt and Hideaway are out of order. Let me fix that. One of her new ones is Birthday Girl, which is one of my new favorite books, too. It's a really fun age difference where the girl falls for her boyfriend's father. Really, really good. But as you all know, Punk 57 is one of my absolute favorite books of all time, and you all need to read it like now. Alright, I have been neglecting this shelf. This shelf does have just a lot of random books. A lot of Rachel Van Dyke, and I think I've only read one of her books, and I've not read any of the books I own by her. My Karina Halley collection, which I have read a couple of these. I really want to read these two really bad, though. Smut and Bad at Love. K.K. Allen for her duet, and then I have my Taylor Jenkins recollection. I am missing um, One True Loves because I have that in a pile upstairs of the books I've read this month. But I do have ooh, my mystique, you know. I do have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I've heard is amazing, but I have not read yet. I'm gonna do that soon. This I got in a book box from Kennedy Fox. It is Courtney, and it smells like blueberry muffins. Alright, next is just a really random bookshelf, sorry, full of just regular paperbacks, except for I did sneak in my two Taryn Fisher books, Atheist Neil and Prey and Mudvayne, those are amazing. I do just have a lot of random books. On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves, though, is one of my favorites. Awesome, forbidden, stranded book. And then Emily Giffen, Bridget Jones, just random romances that I stuck over here. Alright, this next section is kind of at a really awkward angle because my couch is over here so I can't really change, come over anymore, but I do have just some really random books right here. I do have Nalini Singh's Silver Silence, which I thought was okay, but I'm really excited to read more from her, so this is stuck over here. I have a cute owl here, and then again, this is my random romance section. If we turn over here a little bit, sorry, I forgot I had this section, is my J. Jan J. Daniels over here. I've read these two. No, I've only read Four Letter Word, really enjoyed it, and then I've also read Sweet Addiction. It's really cute romance. I do have a Jane Austen mug over there. I want to give a shout out to Next Year in Havana because it is Reese Witherspoon's Book Club Book of the Month, which is super exciting, and this is such a good historical romance. Dual timelines, you should read it. Alright, this is the next section. I'm just going to try really hard not to block the light over here. This mug is a Hufflepuff mug. I actually made this myself with my Cricut. I got the mug from the Dollar Tree. I saw it and knew that I had to do this. I bought the, the file from Etsy and it's gorgeous and I love it. Alright, so this has all of my Vikeelan Penelope Ward books, which I absolutely love. This section also does have the hookup, which is a really awesome football romance. I do have the rest of that series minus one of the books and then I have a bunch of my Mass Marker paperbacks. absolutely love this series by Shannon Richard but the rest of the books in the series are like $20 and only these three were Mass Market paperbacks and then I have my J.C. Burton books, Shannon, Stacey, just a lot of romance. Next to that section I do have my Candy Steiner books with just a random Tiffany Reese book. Rice, I don't remember how to pronounce her last name, but love the PSU series. It is going to have the fourth book release soon and new covers, so that's super exciting. I do have my Jon Snow and Daenerys Pop Funkos here. Fun story, they were next to each other for like the last three years, not just after this past season, so yeah, just gonna leave it at that. This is my next little section. I do have, I believe this is George, I don't remember which one it is, and then I do have the guy from Fantastic Beasts. I have my one of my all-time favorite series, which is the On Dumbledore Street series by Samantha Young. So good. Also have her other series here. Then we're moving in all my Amy Harmon books, which are really, really good. I have my Rebecca Yeros books. Wilder is so good. And then I also have Nova. I have all my K.A. Checker books. I've only read the first two of these. I've not read any of these other ones. Um, Say You'll Stay by Corinne Michaels is really good as well. Super cute romance. I do have the entire series here. And then I have all my R.S. Gray books. These are super hard to get out though because they're all smushed in here so I'm not going to take these out but I love these. And then my L. Jackson books which are super pretty. And then random paper mass markets which go with my Jennifer Armour Child books right there. Alright, the lighting hopefully is going to say okay here. I do have my Court of Thorns and Roses series 
right here I have an ARC copy of A Court of Thorns and Roses and it was signed and it's one of my prized possessions that I own even though book two was my favorite. I do have some candles that came in a box. All of my Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, all my Throne of Glass series with Mrs. Potts and Chip there. I have not read these yet. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. It's gonna happen sometime. Roar and Core Carmax books and then Brandon Sanderson's I only got through about halfway of Mistborn. Stopped reading. I do have a Bell Pop Funko and a Lumiere Pop Funko. All right, this is another YA shelf. I do have my Abby Glein series. It is Until Friday Night. I love the, the first book, so I have the other two. And then these two Julie Buxbaum books are super cute. And then I do just have a lot of random books. I love Whatever Life Throws You by Julie Cross. My Anna and Lola. I used to have a paperback of Isla, but it didn't match the rest of them, so I don't have that anymore. And then... Some Emma Mills, I have to read full of charts, but I have all those. And then my Nickel Yoon books, I do have a Stormtrooper Pop Funko, and then I have a Ray Pop Funko. I do have my favorites over here of Rainbow Rowell, and then Huntley's Fitzpatrick. Alright, we made our way down. I do have this I got from TJ Maxx. This mug says, go away, I'm reading, and it was like $4, and I saw someone buy it from TJ Maxx, ran out and bought it. I do have this series. I have two of the books in this series. I've heard it's really, really good. Don't know much about it, but I do own them. I do have Rudis Petty's books, which I have not read yet, but I've heard really good things. I used to love Jessie Kirby so much, and um, so I have some of her books in honor. I remember really loving this book. I also have my Hundred Oaks series, which is one of my absolute favorites. I have some Casey West, and then just some random young adult romance. Alright, so here's where I kind of ran out of room for my romance, so they bled into my young adult section. So, I do have this series by Marie Pearson. I have not read them yet, though I've heard they're really good. I used to love the series by C.C. Hunter, and I have all the books. Loved all of those. I do have an Incredible Hulk, Hulk Pop, Pop Funko. This is one of my favorite mugs from Society6. It says, break this spine in my books, and you will suffer the same fate. Here are all of my Mia Sheridan books, which I absolutely love. I recently got these to Seek and Midnight Lily. And then a lot of just random books. I do have a lot of Molly McAdam books. And then Noel August, Monica Murphy, random romance. So here's another one of my absolute favorite sections. It is all of my Colleen Hoover books and two candles from Bookish Aromas that are amazing. Lily's Blooms is one of my favorite smelling candles ever. And then I also have the Mile High Club for Miles Archer which is amazing as well. These two are just gorgeous. I do have an Ariel Pop Funko, which I love, and then I won this from Amy Harmon. This says, I don't need therapy, I just need another Amy Harmon book. I won this from her Instagram. I do have all my Helena Hunting books here, and then all my J. Crownover and Linda Cage. Linda Cage's books are one of my favorite series ever, and I buy the next one whenever I'm done with the previous ones. I have With Every Heartbeat Next, I haven't read it yet. And then also, this book is angst to the max, and I love it. Next we have another one of my favorite shelves. I do have Ron. His feet are a little bit chewed up for my dog since he fell off one time my dog says it was a toy. I have Harry Potter with the Quidditch outfit on. I do have my whole nerd series 1 through 5 by Cambria Hebert. I have not read any of them yet. I will. This I bought all from Half Price Books. I do have Breakline by Sarah E. Green. There's my best friends. Um, I have my also Kristen and Becca Richie collection which I only own for other books because they're crazy expensive. Over here I have Alice and Tori. I just finished reading Moonshot. You guys, this book was amazing. Like, seriously amazing. I loved it. I also have a bunch of SL Jennings books and then random books like from Sophie Kinsella and then Danielle Pearl, which I recently got. This last section is all of my paranormal romance mass market. So I do have an Alini Sing series. I'm aware it's really out of order. I've just been too lazy to look at it. I do have The Kiss Potion by Helen Huang. Huang, however you say that, really, really good. I do have my arc and my paperbacks with different spine colors, and then just a lot of random romances. Now we have entered into the realm of my historical romances. This shelf and then the shelf below are all <laughs> mass market historical romances. I have a lot. I have Sarah McLean here. Sorry, the shadow's going to be really bad here because I'm sitting on my couch right now. Um, I've heard really good things about those, and I also have my Maya Banks over there. I just read the first one of them, and then a lot more fun stuff. Over here, I do have some Pop Funkos. I have my Sam, who's super adorable, and then Oberon, who, you know, all what happened to him. Um, I have my Tijan books. Tijan? Tijan. My Bernice Cherry. 
I did read the Air Hebrews, thought it was okay, but I'm excited to read the rest of the series. I do have a lot of my favorite mass markets from Berkeley, so I have all my K. Bromberg books, my Erica Kelly Rocks of Romance series, my Serena Bowen hockey series, and then the Chanel Clayton series. These are amazing, and you all need to read them. So then I have my Kim Holden books, again, K. Bromberg was at my cocktails. Have my all time favorite Elle Kennedy books over there. They are the ads versions, the deal, the mistake, the goal, the score. I just said that out of order, but whatever. And then I do have my Emma Scott books. And yeah, this is one of my favorite sections as well. This is another favorite section of mine. I do have all my Aaron Watt books, which are the Royal series, and then my new paperback of One Small Thing, which I absolutely loved. And then Him and Us by Serena Bowen, which are so good. My Central Park Bug, my sister got me for my birthday once. And then I do have another bookish aromas candle. This one is Bad Romeo, and it smells really good. Candles on top of my Bad Romeo collection by Lisa Raven. I've only read the first book, and I know I need to work on that. I do have the after series. I don't know why I'm holding on to it, but I really feel like I should read the rest of the series, even though I really didn't like the first book. And my Beautiful Bastard series by Christina Lauren. And then my Marianne is a Pata shelf with my favorite Marianne is a Pata books. Alright, so we do have, Kristoff keeps on falling over because he's another one that Darcy chewed the feet off of, and then I have Anna, and then my little Olaf, I do have Cora Carmack, who's my absolute favorite, I love her books so much, my Kitty Ashley's series of the Vicious Cycle romances, there he goes again, he's just going to stay there. Love this motorcycle series so much. And then we're going into YA, because just like the, the one above, my romance is going into my YA. This is shrinking. This is growing. Um, not a lot to say about this shelf. I do have A Torch Against Tonight, which I haven't read yet, and I have the first two. And then I have the Mara Dyer series. And then I have the girl Amy, I think, from Pitch Perfect. She's over there. She was on sale, so I bought her. Then we have another YA section where I have my Cinder series by Marissa Meyer. I've only read Cinder, have not finished the rest of that series yet. I do have my really gorgeous pastel colors here, which is the To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han series, only read book one, story of my life. This I'm really excited to read. It's really gorgeous. It's Wait for Me. It's like a historical romance. She falls for a soldier who is like a prisoner of war, kind of working at her farm. Then my OG original favorites is the Perfect Chemistry series by Simone Alcalaz. Love it so much. And then I have my Gail Farman books. All right, we have made it to the bottom of my shelf, so sorry if this is a really, really weird angle. Um, I do have my V.E. Schwab books, which I haven't actually read yet, um, but I've heard amazing things, especially recently, than all my Jennifer Eagles books. Eccles, I don't remember her how to pronounce her last name. Endless Summer, I read The Boy Next Door. The Boys Next Door, I think, is the first book in the series, like, a million times. I was obsessed, read it like too many times when I was growing up. Alright, this is the next shelf again where I have some romance that was bled into my YA. I'll start with YA first. I do need to fix this. Lily loves to push her ball in here, so it's all pushed back. I have my Butterbeer mug that I got from Harry Potter World, and it did have a TBR jar, which I might bring that back. We'll see, but I haven't looked at these in like forever. Then I have all my Tilly Cole books, which I absolutely love, and then my Casey Quinn books, Sally Thorne. I need to read these books, and I also need to read Unbreak My Heart by Nicole Jacqueline. I've heard it's really good. I'm trying to hurry up. My battery says it's dying. This section I absolutely love as well, Come Back to Me series, is so good. I love this first book. I really need to read the other two. I have my Kim Carr books, which I absolutely love her books a ton. I have M. Leighton, my... S.C. Stevens series, Furious Rush is really, really good as well, and I love her Thoughtless series. I do have a really cute mug saying talk wordy to me that Berkeley sent me. Again, these are all pushed back because Lily likes to push her toys against here. Huge My Banks collection, all just random paperbacks. I do have Trust by Kelly Scott, which I really enjoyed. Then I have some randoms that didn't really fit anywhere, some historical romances by Lisa Kleypas, some more like thriller books that I have, so The Girl in 6E was really, really good. I really like this. And that's that section. I do have a couple of miscellaneous books that I didn't, wasn't able to shelve yet, so Up in the Treehouse by K.K. Allen, they're just in a stack over here. And then I do have the rest of my historical romance collection. Elizabeth Hoyt's one of my favorite. I do have a lot of Eloisa James. My American Duchess is really good, I've heard, so I'm excited to read that. And then they're all just 
stuck here. And that is the end of my main bookshelves, and I'll take you over to my smaller one bookshelf by itself that I showed you earlier. I took a quick break to charge my battery, and it's charged, ready to go. So this is my last full bookshelf that I have in my living room in my apartment, and so I do have the Game of Thrones books that I've collected. Who knows when I'm going to actually read those? Our TV antenna, because we got rid of cable, so we get the basic channels now with Hulu and Netflix. Um... I do have all my Karen Marie Moni books. I have only read this first one. I haven't read any of the other ones of these, but I'm hoping to soon reread this book and read the rest of the series. I know I don't own all of them. This is a time traveling romance series she has, so I've heard that's really good. And then I have my Laura K books that I have signed because I met her at a polycon, and then I do have a Cinderella snow globe that matches my Beauty and the Beast one on my other shelf. Um, I do have my Harry Potter collection. I am collecting all the paper hardbacks. I put my paperbacks at my sister's bookshelf upstairs. I know I am missing books one and four in hardback. And then I have my adorable illustrated editions of Harry Potter. Then my Nicholas Sparks collection. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to keep them all. I'd have to read a lot of them. Um, these I all got while I was in college when they were coming out. So I've read Safe Haven and I believe I read The Longest Ride. I don't even remember if I did. I just saw the movie and I loved it. I think I read that one, but I have not read these two new ones. And yeah, I've read most of these, but I don't know if I'm still loving Nicholas Sparks or not, so I have to decide if I want to keep those and then just a cute bear in an owl. So this is my Outlander shelf. I do have my Jamie Fraser Pop Funko. All of these candles are from a... Canterbury Road Co., which um, if you watch Kristen at Super Space Chick, she loves that that. Candle Company, they just had a really good sale on their Outlander bundles, so I bought them. All of my big flappy paperbacks, and then I do have my mass market paperback collection over here. And then I do have space over here, randomly, I didn't know where to put these, so I have my Unravel Me, but Shatter Me is supposed to go here, I just haven't put it here yet, because it's upstairs where I put all my red books, and then I have a copy of The Dream Thieves. So, I do have my some of my Outlander books to bleed over here, I do have some hardbacks, and then I do have a candle from Knox something candles. I'll link them down below. I do have a mug that I got while I was in England, and then this one I also got while I was in England. It is Pride and Prejudice. That one is just like all of the monarchs that are popular in England, you know. It's a cute mug. I have my really pretty Jane Austen and Bronte books here. anti Clown Mockingbird. And then really gorgeous Pride and Prejudice edition that my grandpa bought me. And then some random historical books. This is crooked. I got this though at Kohl's and it does say it isn't what we say or think that defines us but what we do and it's a Jane Austen. Of course when I saw that at Kohl's I had to buy it. Alright so the rest of the books that I have on the shelf aren't that exciting. A lot of them are old classics that I got um, from my grandpa cleared out his house. He sent me a bunch he didn't want and then buds that I just collected over the time. Over there are some of my nonfiction books and then I do have just random hardbacks that I didn't know where to put and then all of these are random classics that I have. And then the shelf below it are classics as well. I'll show you those. If you were wondering where all my books were that you've seen in videos before, they are here. This was a cart I got to be a TBR cart. Here's where I put books for review that I haven't read yet. I have a lot that I still need to read. This are books that I've bought that I really want to read soon. And then down here are books that I get in the mail for book hauls. I do just have random ones down there that are extras that I need to clear out. And then those are stacks of books that I need to read soon. So yeah. Quite a mess, but I do have my story art scarves that are gorgeous that I love, so yeah. And then over here are just books that I've gotten for review. Some of them are really, really, really old that are like, so like in the middle back there and like, let me, f over here, all of those books I got like four or five years ago. I've been blogging since 2011, so I really need to go through this shelf and get rid of books like all the YA books that I'm never going to read. So I make room for other books that I actually care about. It's super messy, so I'm not even going to go through those books or those books. That is my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below your favorites and what you were excited to see. And that's all I have for you. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.